Yo, yo, hey there. Wouldn't it be fascinating to have the power to alter reality? I mean, just imagine the possibilities, the endless opportunities to shape the world to one's liking. But alas, some are content to let things unfold as they may, while others... Well, others harbor a subtle desire to exert their influence, to nudge the universe in a direction they see fit. You see, it's not about control, not entirely anyway. It's about guiding more so, guiding events, shaping outcomes, and gently steering the course of existence towards a destination of one's choosing. Of course, some may find such desires unsettling, unnerving even, but isn't that part of the allure? The thrill of leaving a permanent mark on the fabric of existence? Yes, there's a certain satisfaction knowing the one has the power to reshape the world in the most subtle, or in the most insane and dangerous ways imaginable. Scribblenauts! This game is a game on the DS. There honestly isn't much to say about this game's history besides that it's a puzzle game and that it was released on September 15th, 2009 in North America, September 30th, 2009 in Australia, October 9th, 2009 in Europe, and January 27th, 2011 in Japan under the name Flash Puzzle, Maxwell's Mysterious Notebook. The game is all about solving puzzles with your creativity, so let's see how much creativity we can unleash. This is Scribblenauts on the Nintendo DS. Okay, here we are in Scribbleland, and yes, I just made that up. I don't know what this place is called, and I don't think it's ever mentioned anywhere in the game, but anyways, here we are! First, we have to go through a tutorial and learn how the game works. We play as Maxwell, and he uses his notepad to write anything his heart desires, and it will come to life. Apparently, there's over 20,000 objects in the game, which is a lot when you really think about it. The main goal is to collect star rights, and you can do that in pretty much any way you want, as long as they follow the Scribbleland guidelines. It must be a physical object, it cannot contain or be a place, proper name, suggestive material, shape, Latin or Greek root word, alcohol, race or culture, vulgarity, or be protected by copyright law. As mentioned earlier, the game is a puzzle game. Maxwell writes in his notepad to summon all sorts of things to help out or save people to get star rights. Very simple when you think about it, but with that many objects, how exactly do you want to get the star right? Well, that's up to you. Do you want to get it by means of a jetpack? A dinosaur? 40,000 pounds of cabbage? You do you. The normal levels themselves are great, but my favorite part of the game is the sandbox type mode on the title screen. That's not something you say or hear about games. Oh, what's your favorite part of the game? The title screen. This mode lets you do pretty much anything. There is no objective whatsoever. It's just Maxwell and the notepad coming up with the greatest things imaginable. Personally, I like doing a bunch of dumb things, like writing the alphabet. Well, okay, I actually don't like doing this, not because it's boring, but the game can barely read my bad handwriting. Now what I actually like doing is coming up with a bunch of dumb scenarios. Okay, dragon, time to meet your doom! Hold on, I gotta get on my flying unicorn. Okay, dragon, time to- Oh wait, I gotta get my weapon. Bubble gun. Yes, this is perfect! Okay, dragon, time to meet your doom! Uh, that- that, that didn't work out as planned. Welcome back to Cooking with Maxwell, and today we will be cooking. We're gonna start off with some fish, and it looks like the studio gave me a big fish to work with here. Now, I don't exactly know how to prepare a fish this big, but we'll figure it out. Okay, once we got our fish all prepped and properly seasoned, on the grill it goes. Why, why is it taking so long? Is, is this a real grill? I don't have time for this, let me just... Well, alrighty then. I hate this, I hate this show, I never wanted to be on it, the writers forced me to be here. I'm gonna make the Leaning Tower appliances, I'm so mad, you know what, I'm gonna freeze them, I'm freezing them all! Hey, uh, I got a package from uh, Salsa 07G. What are you up to? I'm just playing Scribble Knots right now. It's a game where you can solve puzzles by creating anything you want. You want to try? <laughs> I, 
I can't, I can't do that. That is, that's too much. I can't, that's too much power any normal human being should have. I could go on and on about different stuff you can make and do, but I'm pretty sure you get the idea. The game is a lot of fun, no doubt. I highly recommend it. Well, I more so recommend the whole series. The sequel, also on DS, Super Scribblenauts, provides new levels and lets you add adjectives to your words. Both these games are fairly cheap, so as long as you have a DS of some sort, there's a boatload of fun you can have. There's also Scribblenauts Unlimited, which can be played on PC, PS4, Switch, and other more recent platforms. But yeah, I like Scribblenauts, and if you get the chance, I think you should give it a try.